Have you got me or I'm not there? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yep. I have you right. audio wise. So I don't see your, uh, I mean, I can see your window, but it's, oh, there you are. Yeah, no, that's all right. I, um, I always have a piece of tape over. Cool, cool, man. Uh, tell me your name again. Uh, Paul. Paul, 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 Paul. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me, give me one second. I'm just going to post my comment in my stream, in my thing. I can't remember. What were we talking about? Dude, were you going to show me something or were we just talking about other things? Um, yeah, I was going to show you, uh, I'll, I'll show you all my stuff to do with the position of the horizon changing and then how that affects the uh, things we're seeing in the distance. Yeah, man, for sure. So I, I don't know if you need my permission to share or present. So I think you can go ahead and try that out. If you need my, if you need something, let me know. Uh, okay. Present. Share screen. screen okay okay you're seeing now yeah all right i might as well just go into this then so you can see that now then hey i can yeah yeah right well this is just a sort of like a basic kind of little presentation that i set up i'll keep okay. it on here rather than i mean i can always go to like full screen like this but then uh I won't be able to skip back and forward through it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, listen, go back go back to that, that blank image. I mean, we can yep. see it on... No, I, well, yeah, I guess I mean, maybe that was it. I was just... When, when you look at the horizon right there and you see the appearance of the mixture of the sky and the water as they yeah, get yeah. together visually, like to me, that's eternity. Yep. You know what I mean? That's just like looking into the beauty of infinitude. It's kind of like looking into the abyss. Yeah, man. I love it. I love it. I saw it today out on the on the bay, man. I was just like, oh my God, I love that spot. That's just like crap. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. And so like um, you know, I just sort of like to have a picture like this and and sort of show people this and then just say to them, well, how far away is this? You know, where is this? <laughs> yeah. You know, and it doesn't matter what altitude or what elevation we pick, still it doesn't matter how far away is it. Pick whatever elevation you want. You know, we can't, we don't know. You have no idea how far the horizon is unless you actually have something there that's a demarker, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's the beauty about what I have is I literally have this little yellow buoy that's about 3.7 miles away from me. So I'm so sorry, dude. I was trying to do something with this stupid video because I'm frozen right now. All right, and so yeah. then, and so Did then, the no, I didn't kill the stream. I just messed up the the format with the window. There we are. Group layout. Press Shift Three. Group layout. I don't know what that means because I don't have the window for your sharing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I there we go. There uh, we go. Okay. Yeah, cool, <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Oh, oh, good man. <laughs> it's uh, it's better this way as well. If I just put keep it like this, then you don't get to see my ugly mug. Yeah. No. No worries. <laughs> you know, but yeah. So this whole thing, you know, like um. You know, like uh, these are the sort of two basic questions that I generally like to ask people, you know, like how far away is this? And then, you know, how does the distance to this horizon affect the objects that we see beyond it? Because it, it affects everything. Like it's that distance to the horizon that even, you know, when we have I know. stuff, yeah, it's because we have this really far horizon and it's kind of like looming and compressing and making everything look really weird. And then when it's, when it's like a, an inferior mirage, which is brings the horizon closer to you, you get a lot of magnification and a lot of the times things actually look clearer. Yeah, I um, actually have a buddy of mine here. Uh, he's got my other camera and he just sent me a, a text this morning or last night. Um, he it lives in the same area as I do and he works on the Chesapeake Bay on the Naval Base. 
And um, I don't know if it's a naval base. It's the proving grounds. Um, yeah. Anyway, he has a direct line of sight to my red roof house. So he, oh, can, right. he can see it and take pictures of it. And he sent one that was just beautiful. It was just wavy. And I could see the whole, you, you can see the thin little, thin little, just paper thin brown of the beach. You know what I mean? But that's the entire yeah. beach. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. No, it's it's um it's quite bizarre, you know. Like I mean, there's days where you can see really well, days where you don't see so good, days you see far, days you don't see far, and you know, like it's never the, it's really the same. You may get ones that are similar, but you know, and every day can be different, and then go back two or three times throughout the day, and it's different each time. Mm -hmm. You know, like I actually caught a really good one the other day. I stayed out for three hours. And it was 8.15 in the morning and it was a heavy inferior mirage to the point oh, where yeah. I had land that's 15 miles away from me and that land was about 90 feet hidden inside the inferior mirage. And then three hours later, I could see down to the shore. Oh, yeah, that fast? Yeah, so the entire – yeah, I got, I've got it all on film too. I've got a I'm, – I'm making a um, – uh, Now, see, up. like I would totally geek out on that, you know what I mean? That would be something I would be so into. So, yeah, please let me know when you put that out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could, we could play it, but it unfortunately goes for probably like two or three minutes, you know? Like, oh, I don't we can care. Talk, we can yeah, talk and play it if you want to. Yeah, yeah, we, absolutely, man. I got, I opened up my day for this. So, oh, yeah, cool, cool. All right. Uh, let me go through. Actually, here. you know what? Take your time. Give me a second. I'm going to go finish my tea. I, I started brewing a tea and I'll be right back. Oh, good. Did I do that or did you do that? All right, I'm back. Yeah. Uh, what did I do? Oh, oh that's what I've done. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, so you can still see my screen? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at this one. This is a this is a video that I made the other day. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll keep the sound off of it. So this one... Uh, this was just like sheer luck. I just focused the camera there and then this this boat came out. Uh-huh. Yeah, so this was pretty cool. So I actually used this one where I was trying to set up some of the uh, globe trolls on um on uh, on Twitter. On X. <laughs> Here we have, you know, like um Yeah. You know, we have three there was three oh there still is three different mirror lines here. Or fold, what do they call it? Vanishing Vanishing line. Bold line. Vanishing line, yeah. So we have this boat here, right? Um, it's probably about this. See that yellow bit right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's the buoy that I've got. That's about three point seven to four miles away. Yeah. Um, so the you know what's missing? Probably... You know what's missing on that buoy? Your what? fold line. Yeah. Well, I think I think it's like right on it. It's just. Uh -huh. like, you know, but, like but right, right where the water, right where the water ends, right there, that's where the mirage starts. Yeah. So yeah, that exactly. that's not right, even yeah. a full that's not even a full physical buoy. You know what I mean? That's how yeah. that's how 
ignorant people are when they look out and see those things. They don't understand. They think what they're seeing is 100% physical. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, also, here we go. So this is here's your idea of the shadow, right? The tree yeah. shadow. Now, I can yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. right here. This is yeah, about yeah. four miles away. Okay. This is eight miles away. So you've got nice. four miles between here and here. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Right. Wait, 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 how, wait, wait. How do you know? How do you know that line right there, right where your mouse is? How do you know that's four miles away? Well, because that's where the buoy is. Oh, the buoy, the buoy, the buoy. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that is Three, beautiful, dude. Three point seven to four miles. Like, uh, I actually yeah. spent. I, I originally spent about four days, no, three days looking for this buoy because I was like, oh, where is it? And I went. First day, I went way too far. I went like seven miles away. I went to almost, pretty much went to that um that jetty. Oh, and I'm looking down there glorious. everywhere. To find it. Oh my and god, then, this is great, dude. I I this is almost like you know, for me, I'd be like, oh, this is this should be what's going viral. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I, I you know, I mean, I want to try to make this viral because when you when you see how I'll show you this buoy, this buoy is the secret. Yeah, right? this buoy is, is awesome. I don't really... even know what to say to right now. I am I am in so much. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, like this is a this is so much appreciation. You know what I mean? Like I really appreciate what you have here. Yeah, cool, it's, it's, this you. is phenomenal. Well, that's why um, like uh, I've sort of said to you, and I've been saying it to other people. You know, like people like yourself, Wide Awake, Heath Carmody. You know, like you guys are you guys are like the OGs. You know, you like you said all this. The only thing different that I have is this yellow buoy. I know, right? <laughs> that's it. I'm showing all the same stuff you guys are showing. Yeah, I can just awesome. pinpoint. Yeah. I can just pinpoint where the horizon is. That's all. That's the only thing different what's, that I've got. Okay, where where are you? Where what's your observer position? Okay, so I'm on a spot called Grange. I mean, on Grange Jetty. Yeah, I think I remember yep. seeing it now. You okay? You're a little bit raised up off of uh, the water. Yeah, I'm 20 feet. And this is the unfortunate okay. thing is that because I'm on a jetty, every time people walk past, it vibrates, uh, so, you know, which yeah. is really annoying. Right. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, like this is the this is the only thing I have different is this yellow buoy. If it wasn't for this yellow buoy, I mean, I could probably still tell that the horizon was moving and changing, but this yellow buoy is what really gives it away. Um, so here, as just in this one here, so we've got the, the boat here already in the inferior mirage we got the jetty is eight miles away and that actual jetty height itself is about 15 to 16 feet high so we've got about eight to nine feet of that jetty missing where i'm pointing to the other part down there that's where a um like that's way over on the shore area and that's more like 9.3 miles away and we've got it probably about five and a half meters missing there, so about 18 feet missing because we can't really see the, the bottom of where these houses are. Right? <laughs> yeah, but so, you, do, you have, do you have any shots of that where you can see yep. the houses? Okay. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I, I can actually um, – a video that I got a couple of days ago would be perfect to show you after in a moment. Um, I'll show you this whole area here. Um, okay, so with this – what i was doing was going okay so what's going on here is this going over a curve okay so this boat here is probably you know i mean it's a standard size boat it's like what 10 10 feet high i mean you know? i guess yeah 10 12 yeah. foot yeah 10 12 foot maximum okay so we'll skip through the next um i mean not when it's in the water not you mean no not really when it's in the water but you know just as an example you know, yeah. i think this is sped right up at the moment but let's have a look at it as I it goes this. further and further away. I love away. this, man. This is like yeah. National Geographic for me. I love this. Yeah. I'm looking at – Okay, uh, so see this area right here? This is another area called Hallett Cove. Okay. Right? And I'll, I can show you this later as well. I, I okay. Quite often I see all the way down to the shore here as well. All right. So as we go through here, I think I stop it around <laughs> about here, but just oh my god, these idiots! It's going over a curve. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh man, that is so. Wind that back up, like you know, thirty seconds or something, man, because that was just awesome, right yeah. there. Yeah, just whatever, just right there. You know, it's just 
I, yeah. you know, so the beauty these, about this, right? Is oh, you got a channel marker is, there too. Yeah, yeah. There's another one there, which is obviously around about the same distance away from me too, because it's right on the horizon as well. Now, think of this: when we go back to, let's say, uh, where is it? Just here. We know that at eight miles away, we've got about nine feet hidden. We know that at 9.3 miles away, we've got 18 feet hidden. So to get 12 feet hidden, we know it must be more than likely around eight and a half miles. Okay, hold on real quick. Are you are you referring to 18 feet hidden uh, according to the globe, according to what the globe would say? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that this is 18 feet hidden because we can't see from 18 feet and below. <laughs> So it's below the valley. How do you know that? How do you know that? Because I know that the this land just here, where I've got yeah. that red line, yeah, that land where those houses is, is yeah. five point five meters above sea level. Five point five meters, which is eighteen feet. Okay, wait, hold on now. So go. Um, I I think I understand what you're saying. Uh, so right where your mouse is, back, go back to right there, just right there. Yeah. So right there where you're saying, uh, you're saying that you think that that white. That white area is like a house. Yeah, there's how I'll, I'll show you that after. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to. I, I, I mean, I can. I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, All yeah, right. right. So these houses here are obviously sitting on land. They're above the beach. Yeah, but yeah, but how do you how do you get at 18 five. feet? Like, how do you know that the rest of that is? <laughs> yeah. I yeah, just well, think right. giving it a number is like. So well, I'm just saying, you know, like, <laughs> a, approx approximately 18 feet, you know, like, I mean, we can't see any of the grass here. We can't see any of that. So it could, below that mirror line, yeah. could be more than 18 feet, you know? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. 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 So then when we get further over back, whoop, when we get further back to here, I know, <sighs> go up here a bit more. So when we get further over here and we have this boat starting to be, dis starting to disappear, Right. By the yeah. time this thing disappears, <laughs> when we've now established that at 9.3 miles away, there's close to 18 feet or probably even more hidden, we know that this disappeared at approximately eight and a half miles away. Yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying, but for me, I don't even know that I would say that because you've changed your azimuth, right? You've, you've moved laterally across the field of view. So in my opinion, you could be just looking at different distances the entire time because the, the mirage is not, in my opinion, you're not looking at, it would, you would have to have equidistance at every point. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm just not sure that that's the case, but I, you know, I could be wrong. Yeah. The, you know, I mean, if, if we look See, because there's another buoy here. Is there's not just this buoy? Oh, like, so, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. See, this is before. You don't go back to the one before. I'm sorry. Now I, yeah. I think I know what you're going to say, but go go to where the the boat first disappears. So if we if we look here as this first one as it first comes out, All right? Okay, you'll see there's a buoy here. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. You see that yellow right there? Uh huh. And then as it gets further along we get to the next buoy. Are you going to make the argument that those are radials? Like that's the equidistance? Um, they're all, these two buoys here are pretty much in line with each other. Right? Yeah, but so that doesn't, yeah, but that doesn't, oh, I'm sorry, but that doesn't mean that they're equidistance to you. They, they're um, always they're, in line with each other. Yeah, they're, they're in line. So they're in line with each other as far as, uh, going dead straight. So if I was to go straight okay. onto them, right. from I, them okay. and okay. look straight out, they're in line with each other. Yeah, yeah. And as, I, you, can I, I, see, right. as you can see, when we go back here, where was it? There. Uh, did I just go too far? It's hard when I'm doing it on I get, No, it's okay. I think you have to go back a little bit if you want to go to the first buoy. Yeah. Okay, there. Right. So see how this one's right on that mirror line as well. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. I get you, man. Okay. So then when we get further up, when we get further up here, and we get and to there's that, another buoy. To that you, next buoy. Are you going to see one here? Yep. Oh, there right is. there. And see, it's right. So, this one's just slightly inside the mirror line now. Yeah. 
Right. So they're all pretty much at that same position. Okay, and how far away was the first one? Um, the well, the middle one, the, the first and second one are both about three point seven to four miles away. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gathering this one is okay. You know, I, I'm gathering. Yeah, this I mean that's. I mean that's recent. just like think about what we're talking about though. <laughs> like, like what this means is that you're looking at an arc. Uh, sorry, you broke up. Because, huh? You sorry, you just broke up there for a second. Well, for I me, did. Anyway. Okay, yeah, only for me, probably. All right. Well, uh, so in my mind, like when you, if you were to zoom out, if you could zoom out and show this buoy here, and then the very first buoy in a panoramic, you know, thing, right? You're looking visually at a straight line that's curved. Yeah, yeah. Technically, yeah, for sure. I get right. Money. Yeah. So now imagine looking down on that area. Do you see that gradation of like, you know how when we look up into the sky and we can see the dark blue of the uh of the past night and it bleeds into the you know the the smurf blue of uh of the morning and there's that twilight zone that 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 you know where they where ghosts are making love right there, they're just kissing <laughs> each other, right? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, could you see this from the top down? And would it look like a ghost doing that in that transition period? That's what I'm interesting. I wish I could be a graphic designer and communicate that. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could do graphic design stuff as well, but I'm pretty useless. But see, uh, like, I mean, even this, even this imagery right here is just push pause back to right there. Like yeah. to me, I wanna, I wanna paint that. Like, I don't think, I think that's some of the most beautiful images I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, inferior mirages are awesome. Uh, uh, can I do this? Uh, yeah, I can. Um, where did that go again? But anyway, going back to what I was just, you know, describing before while you're looking for whatever it is you are, that, that curved, linear visual space. <laughs> Yeah. Have a look at this one. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Oh like that my book. god, that is gorgeous. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was so upset. I was filming this thing for about three hours, <laughs> right? And it it um it it got to where just the sails were just um disappearing. It was like getting inside the sails, but it still I wanted to film it until it was gone. But it was three hours. And it wasn't even halfway up the sails yet. And I was like, oh, man, I can't just stay. I can't stay out here any longer. I had to go. But, yeah, I was, I was really quite pissed about that. But um, we'll go back to that other one. Okay, so what I was going to show you here is um, here, have a look at this as well. So we just go past that buoy there. There's that one as well. Mm -hmm. And now your watch will go past Another one just there. Mm -hmm. oh, it's right on the boat. So there's another yeah. one there as well, right on the horizon. What so even what's interesting, like right there, like somebody should geek out on that in terms of oh, we'll go back, go back. Yep. Somebody should geek out on that in terms of the angular size of the buoy compared to the oh, right. yeah, of the boat. Yeah, sorry. Like someone should be able to like geek out and mathematically do that shit. Uh, let's see if I can get it right again. Oh. Because right. well, <laughs> it was right lined up, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can sort of see it there, but yeah. But I mean, even the then, even then, it's not accurate because that's just freaking uh, distorted the hell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? That's not actual size. <laughs> no, and that that buoy is probably about five foot higher. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So then, so then, this is sort of like the whole point that I was getting at to get onto these uh, trolls is like, well. Their idea is that this has just gone over the curve. But if this is 8.5 miles away, or their approximate approximation, even in their world, it should only be about three foot hidden. Sure. But it's, it's almost completely gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, man, you're talking to somebody who's been in this for six years, you know, so I, I totally am tracking with what you're saying. But people coming across this information for the first time, I don't I still think that it's going to be a head scratcher for a lot of people to start to try to mesh what I was just saying because like what you're describing is a little bit of what I was saying was the curved linear visual space. It's like yeah yeah. You know, if you can't think in those 
two constructs, you know, the, this discussion is going to be uh, a long one. Yeah, no, man, I'm, I, I don't mind. I'll hang around as long as you want. Um, <laughs> no, I no, I meant if someone were, yeah. Just a I long mean, one if, in general. Well, yeah, even if we, like you're talking about showing this to people that you would consider trolls. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, if the, first of all, if they're trolls, in my opinion, they they aren't going, they're not here to learn. So that so you're wasting your time. Yeah, yeah. You know definitely. I mean? But at the same time, you know, there's people out there. I just oh my god, that was gorgeous. Well, that was amazing. 